Good morning, everyone. My name is Mighty Stream, and I'm going to do your April the 19th just for today in a meditation. If you need to reach me, feel free to do so at recoveryofhope21 at gmail.com. Let's go ahead and get into the meditation. I also want to remind you that we have a full year of this meditation on uh, the YouTube platform now. So if you ever come to the channel and you don't see a new upload for today's date, any day that would be, go ahead and type it into the search field on my channel and you should still get some coverage. Um, but I do like to keep it current. So this would be April 19th, year two. Let's go ahead and talk about the topic. The topic is footwork. So many times, addicts have sought the rewards of hard work without the labor. Basic text, page 34. When we first came to NA, some of us wanted everything and right away. We wanted the serenity, the cars, the happy relationships, the friends, the closeness with our sponsor, all the things other people have gotten their months and years of working excuse me, all of the things other people have gotten after months and years of working, the steps in living life on its own terms. We learned the hard way that serenity comes only from working the steps. A new car comes from showing up on the job every day and trying to practice these principles in all our affairs, including our employment. Healthy relationships come as a result of lots of hard work and a new willingness to communicate. Friendship with our sponsor comes as a result of reaching out during the good times as well as the bad. In Narcotics Anonymous, we have found the path to a better way of life. To reach our destination, however, we must do the footwork. Just for today, I want a better life. I will make an inventory of what I want, find out how to get it, talk with my sponsor about it, and do the necessary footwork. Let's take a moment of silence followed by the we version of the serenity prayer. Moment of silence now. Thank you. God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we cannot change, the courage to change the things that we can and the wisdom to know the difference. This topic of footwork is a good one um, because when we watch, we're watching a boxing match, right? A lot of times people will com comment on the footwork of the boxers because a lot of that footwork that they're, they're doing gauges where their body moves. And sometimes you will say to yourself, oh, they have some nice footwork. See, on their feet, their feet are guiding their movement. And if they have good footwork, they have good movement, which means that they're able to oftentimes duck and dodge, right? The opponent's punches. Footwork is generally considered a very positive thing, except when you're dealing with someone that is being lazy in some kind of way. Because if you have a lot of footwork, there's going to be a lot of results. In general, just speaking about exercise, your metabolism should increase. This new fad of having uh, a sports watch on and keeping track of how many steps that you take is another form of footwork. The individual that takes 10,000 steps a day is clearly going to be more healthy than the individual that takes a thousand steps a day. Basically, unless they're a swimmer or something like that. But you get the point, right? Footwork equates to results. And it's the same way in recovery. If we put in the footwork, we're going to have the results that we're seeking. If we're seeking them. In regards to healthy relationships, 
A healthy relationship doesn't mean that everything goes your way. It means that you stay in contact and have a willingness to communicate regardless to whether or not things are going good or bad. It's the same way with working our steps. If you're taking the steps, doing the footwork, you should render the results of an individual that has been taking the steps, working the steps, living the steps, and the spiritual principles therein. So when we're talking about applying these principles in all of our affairs, there will be fruit as a result of having done so or results. Today, I would like to encourage all of us to look at our footwork and make sure that we're not seeking the rewards of hard work without actually doing our part, the work that we need to do. My name is Maddie Stream. I've enjoyed talking to you today. Hope that you will have a beautiful day full of positive footwork on purpose. Talk to you soon.